Sorry, dear. Hope I didn't startle you. Hunter, you saw her, didn't you? Wanda. What does she want? What we all want. To be found. But how do I find her? Well, not alone, dear. You and the Midnight Suns are going to have to work together. I know you didn't know Wanda. But I did. She's family, Hunter. We cannot leave her behind. Besides, we can't win this battle against your mother without her. So find her, Hunter. Bring her back. For all our sakes. Have you seen any of the Midnight Suns? I need to speak to them. I think I overheard Blade talking about how he was going to the chapel, which is weird. I didn't think vampires could go into churches or chapels or whatever. See what I know about the supernatural. Hope he doesn't think Carol is gonna meet him there. Thank you, Peter. No problemo. Hope you find them. What kind of mirror is this again? Because it's giving me some real evil queen vibes. It is a spell of sorts. That is what Agatha used to say anyway. What sort? The dark sort? A discernment spell. Well, more of a tracking ritual, like a seance. And no, it's not dark. I got it right from the source. I'll put it back before Caretaker even knows it's missing. Hey man, we gotta try something. I mean, it has to be a sign, right? That all four of us had the same dream of Wanda? Make that five. You and Ouija away or whatever. Lock the door. Remember, once we start, we don't stop. Keep your mind focused on Wanda. Ego, Spiritus, Ad. Got it. What did I just say? Do not break the connection. Okay, uh, sorry. Right. <sighs> this is how Atlantis sank. Ego, Spiritus, Ad, May. Ego Spiritus Ad Me. 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 Whoa! Anyone else see that? She said not to break the connection. Well, you just did. Ego Spiritus Ad Me. Was that our fault? I think so. Disconnect! Pull the plug or something! It's too late. Negative zone in their showers when we get home. If we get home. 
There's no telling where that screwed up spell sent us. This could be a broom closet in the basement of Dr. Doom's castle, for all we know. Or a storage nook on Galactus's world ship. Holding pen on a scroll cruiser. Oh, maybe the inside of Robbie's brain. There. Something powerful. Something strong. Something foul. That's where we begin. Ugh. Of course you were gonna say that. operation for Carol, or even Tony. It's not the how I should be focusing on, but the why. You're not here for the Gamma Accelerator at all, are you? No. The truth is far more delightful. Of course it is. Well, by all means, then, have at it. <laughs> It wouldn't surprise me if Thanos himself walked out of that thing. Wanda! No. Oh, Wanda. We were too late. She belongs to Lilith now. Death is her only chance for release. What? Hell no! No, that's not how we work! Haven't you learned anything yet? Leave her alone, you monster! Oh, I assure you, Miss Maximoff is free to do as she pleases. She appears neither free nor pleased to me. Really? Wanda, is there something you'd like to say to your friends? This encounter has certainly smashed my expectations. <laughs> Come now, Bruce. Can't let yourself get too carried away. We were planning on taking them alive. Then again... Wanda... Eliminate them. This is over! We must leave! Now! Wanda, stop! It's me! It is not her, Nico. She cannot hear you anymore! Hesitated and then blew up the ground where you were standing. Still, Juan is in there. Somewhere. I know it. No. She is here. Impossible. Close it! Now! What do you think I am 
trying to do? No escape. No more. You were saying, Wanda. You. Your fault. You will be no more. Agatha. Ileana, are you okay? My best friend just tried to murder me. What do you think? We knew trying to save Wanda was going to be a risk. I know. But is it really worth risking the life of everyone here to do it? I think so. Do you not? I just want to close my eyes and when I reopen them, have this all be some bad dream. We both should get some sleep. It's the only thing left to do tonight. Good night, Magic. Good? There is nothing good about this night, Hunter. Nothing good at all. Nico, I... Don't bother. Kinda just want to be left alone. At least we tried. Save it for a speech. I'm tired. We can talk tomorrow, when you are feeling better. Yeah, right. Might be a while. I will be here. But Wanda won't. Don't you think, with all my knowledge, all my expertise, I could have helped save Wanda? No. Why? Because we do not trust you, Strange. Your problem, Magic, is that you don't trust anyone. Why should I? Where were you when Wanda was taken? What have you or any of the other Avengers done to rescue her? I thought we resolved this already. There was nothing any of us could do. No, you resolved it out of your mind. We acted. And had you elicited my help, you might have succeeded. Please, you Avengers would only have gotten in our way. I suppose we'll never know now, will we? And people say Tony's ego's big. <sighs> Enough of this. I have to attend to some issues in limbo. Someone has to make sure we have safe passage through space-time. Now who is running from a fight, Ileana? I try not to be someone who equates youth with folly. I wish Ileana would not look at someone with a lifetime of experience and assume incompetence. Perhaps there was more I could have done to save Wanda. But until I get back into my sanctum, I cannot see everything I once did. Greatness can never expire, and neither can you. I know, I know. I am one of the greats, aren't I? You know you are. But with being great comes the pressure to stay great. To have others look at you with the recognition of that greatness. You can harness that pressure. Perhaps even achieve something greater than ever before. Hmm. I like the way you think, Hunter. You've definitely given me a goal to strive for. Then my job here is done. Till next time, friend. You know where to find me. Hunter, come and talk with me a moment. I wanted to apologize for last night. I just couldn't believe what you and the rest of the Sons did and... Needed time alone to process. I knew I underestimated Nico's desperation to save Wanda when I realized she swiped my spell book. I keep thinking, if I hadn't given up on her so easily, if I had listened to them, helped them, I could have prevented them from going out on their own and risking all. Do you think they are right, Hunter? Do you think I gave up on Wanda too soon?
Only you know the answer to that. I just couldn't face her day after day. Not after what happened with Agatha. I wish I had been stronger. Oh, I can't help but be reminded of Lilith. Maybe if I tried to save her centuries ago, we wouldn't be walking the apocalypse we're in now. Well, I ought to pull myself together and face the day. Thanks for the word, Hunter. Hi, hi, Hunter. Nico, what are you doing in Wanda's room? What does it look like? Ileana said this grimoire is filled with pretty powerful magic. There's gotta be something in here. Something to break the stupid spell your mother cast over Wanda so, you know, we can all go back to being normal. To being friends again. If you intend on breaking Lilith's hold on Wanda, you're going to need to use magic as dark as hers. Are you up to that? <laughs> Have you seen me use the Staff of One? Yeah, not exactly the stuff of fairy tales. Unless you're talking about the creepy old original versions. You know, the ones that sound an awful lot like your childhood. Just because I don't go around broadcasting my dark side like some people do, doesn't mean I can't handle my fair share of dark magic. I know what I'm doing. I never said you did not. It all made sense in my head. We'd find Wanda, smack around a few Hydra dirt bags, bring her back to the Abbey, and Caretaker would bake her a cake. I wasn't exactly envisioning Wanda trying to murder us. Or you trying to do the same thing to her. The Wanda you know would never hurt you, and I would never hurt her. This was... someone else. Must be nice to tell yourself that. I bet it makes it a lot easier to release them of whatever you want to call it when you put them down. Sorry, but I'm not buying that, Hunter. Well, that was before you had me on your side. How about you give me a chance before you start swinging your sword next time, huh? You have my word. Good, because I'm gonna hold you to that. Well, unless you have anything to add to this free Wanda brainstorming sesh, I should get back to her grimoire. I'm not leaving one page unturned until I find a way of bringing her back to her senses. Till then, later. I assume you're here to ask about the attempt to rescue Wanda. You know magic better than I do. I figured... I'd have something to say. I do. I'm worried about her. What Nico and Magic did was dangerous. They put themselves at risk of being controlled by Lilith. Not only that, but Magic is. You know she finds it hard to trust people. The fact that she tried to help Wanda with zero hesitation shows she's grown. But the recklessness could be indicative of conflict from within. Hopefully this will encourage her to ask for help. I have a soft spot for Magic, and I always will. I hope you will be kind to her. I've always been kind to magic, and I do not plan on stopping. I am glad to hear it. I should probably seek the two of them out, and make sure they are alright. I like to come here, away from all the noise. It is heartwarming that I am not noise to you. Obviously, you're better than that. Maybe even, you know, my equal. Why just an equal? I think I have demonstrated my prowess is at a level far beyond that. Maybe you can even learn a thing or two from me. Cute. I'll assume that you didn't mean to say that you can teach me. I will draft a lesson plan, get a curriculum in order, maybe ask Strange to teach a class or two. These are the words of someone begging for death. The extremely painful kind of death. Good for you that it would be a shame to kill you. You're the first hero I've met that would impress even the likes of Mephisto. That does not sound appealing. 
Better to impress the Prince of Lies than to provoke his contempt. What he respects, he also fears. I will never apologize for being comfortable with my darkness, and neither should you. The darkness is ours to wield. It is our strength. There is no shame in owning up to what we are and what we can do. You are right, Hunter. More than right. I needed an ally and a friend like you for a long time. Someone that embraces their darkness and makes me feel comfortable with mine. I am honored I can be that friend to you, Iliana. It was an unexpected gift, but one I am happy to receive. When this battle is over, you should come back with me. Join the X-Men. Is that your plan? Rejoining the X-Men? Maybe. Piotr would love it if I came back. What about Nico, Robbie and Blade, the Midnight Suns? You would really leave them? Once you are a son, you never really leave, no matter where you go. In any case, I hope we can continue fighting side by side in the future. If there is a future, that is. Ileana, you and the Suns are the future. At least, you have given me hope for it. Uh, don't get too sentimental on me, Hunter. I was just beginning to like you. <laughs> <laughs>